All right. So the set, um, I'd say I've seen a lot of uh, enterprises that go with everything's an HTTP connection. Um, HTTP is not always the most efficient way to have services talk to each other. And the reason for that is that you tear up a TCP connection, you send a header containing the request for what it is that you'd like, and then you receive all of the results and you typically then close the connection. And so for the next qu query, you tear up the TCP socket, you build the header, you do the same again, and you're actually spending almost as much time um, on a small query building the connection as you are actually receiving any of the data. And so for, particularly if you have the luxury of controlling both ends of a conversation, um, I highly recommend that you consider using a slightly lower level network socket setup to have your uh, programs talk to one another. And this is a complete example of a working TCP server. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. Um, I am using CERD once again, because it is the serialization uh, system of choice. Uh, BIM code is a binary encoding system put together by Mozilla. I'm using it because it's convenient and easy to teach. In, um, if you control both ends, BIM code is fantastic because it's really high performance. I've seen um, pro protobufs used more frequently in this. Um, I'll, I'll get to Andrew's question in just a moment. Um, I've seen protobufs and similar used pretty successfully. There's crates for pretty much every format you're likely to use. Uh, one project I'm using right now uses the old C binary object interface. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that that worked. And once again, I'm using Takio, which includes um, a pretty much everything you need for basic network support. And so the protocol I've built um, just sends a serialized enumeration containing a command. And the only command I'm supporting right now is say hello. And once again, hello is a message that I will return when you call say hello. So this is relatively straightforward. Listen on TCP to localhost to port 3000. Then we start a loop, and loop is, a, is the Rust structure that keeps going until you tell it to stop with a break. Now we create a listener using um, tell it to accept connections. So what will happen is it will sit there waiting for somebody to connect. When a connection occurs, we spawn a new green thread. This is all built into Takio and will be covered heavily in my classes um, starting next week. And inside the thread, we read um, the size of what we're receiving. And you can just do read U64 to get a network order use, um, unsigned 64-bit um, integer right off the network. We call a function called read exact to tell it to uh, read exactly the size of the buffer. So we're not reading any bytes more than we need to. We call bin code deserialize, and that stream of bytes is transformed in memory into our uh, command structure. Um, if the command is a say hello, we build a hello, we serialize it, we write the size of what we're sending. It's always a good idea to send the size first because that way the whatever's at the other end knows how much to read. You don't have to use read to end and hope that the socket dies at some point. And then you write the whole buffer. And that is all you need for a high-performance TCP server. When I've tested this in practice, you can have um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clients connecting in this way. And because of the magic of spawning them into a separate green thread, which Takio may put onto a separate physical thread or may not, it's all going to depend on what the load looks like, you, um, you can handle just vast amounts of uh, network connections. And you can do all of that in 48 lines of code, which I thought was pretty darn good. For the full course, visit courses.ardenlabs.com.